Everything you're seeing right now was made with free AI tools. No expensive software, no animation experience, just simple tools anyone can use. AI can make amazing animations in minutes, but there's one problem most creators hit. Character consistency. One scene looks perfect, then suddenly the face, body, or outfit changes, and the magic disappears. That's why so many AI videos fail. In this video, I'll show you a simple workflow to keep your character consistent from start to finish. No complicated settings, no confusing steps, just free tools and a method that actually works. By the end, you'll be able to create clean, high quality AI animations that look professional, even if you're a complete beginner. Stay with me because missing one step can ruin the whole video and I'll show you exactly how to get it right. All right, let's get started. Step number one. To make things easier for you, I've created a Google Docs file that includes the story prompt along with all the other prompts you'll need to create a 3D animated story using AI. You'll find the link to this document in the video description. I also want to mention that the story used here comes entirely from my own imagination. You're not required to follow it exactly. Feel free to create your own story and experiment with your own ideas to make it unique. Now, open ChatGPT. Once it's open, go back to the Google Docs file and copy the story prompt. Paste that prompt into the ChatGPT input box. Keep in mind, this story is only for tutorial purposes. You're free to use your own story if you like. After pasting the prompt, click Generate. You'll see ChatGPT create a short version of the story, including dialogue and narrator voiceovers. Once that's done, return to the Google Docs file and copy the second prompt. Paste it into ChatGPT and click Generate again. This time, ChatGPT will produce consistent character prompts for the story. In this tutorial, the story includes three characters, Adam the boy, Rusty the dog, and the yellow bird. After the character prompts are generated, go back to the Google Docs file one more time and copy the third prompt. Paste it into ChatGPT and click Generate. Now you'll see ChatGPT start writing image prompts, converting the entire story into detailed visuals. This process may take a few seconds to complete. Step number two. Now in the second step, open Google Whisk AI. Once it's open, go back to ChatGPT and copy the consistent character prompt for Adam, the boy. Paste this prompt into the Whisk AI prompt box and click generate. Wait a few seconds and you'll see the image is ready. Next, return to ChatGPT and copy the consistent character prompt for Rusty, the dog. Paste it into the Whisk AI prompt box, click Generate, and wait a few seconds for the image to be created. Do the same for the yellow bird. Copy its consistent character prompt from ChatGPT, paste it into Whisk AI, and click Generate. Once all three character images are generated, download them so you can use them in the next steps of the tutorial. Now, after downloading the character images, look to the left side where you'll find the subject option. Start by uploading your character images as subjects. First, upload the boy, then the dog, and finally the bird. Once all three are uploaded, make sure they are tick marked and properly selected. Next, go back to ChatGPT and copy the first image prompt from your story. 
After copying it, return to Whisk AI, paste the prompt into the prompt box, and click Generate. Wait a few seconds, and you'll get an image with 100% consistent characters. In the same way, convert all the remaining image prompts into images, copy them one by one from ChatGPT, and generate them in Whisk AI exactly as I'm doing. Make sure you don't miss any image prompt. After generating all the images, you may notice that some scenes were not created by ChatGPT. To fix this, go back to the Google Docs file, copy the fourth prompt, and paste it into the ChatGPT prompt box. ChatGPT will now understand the instructions. At this point, all you need to do is briefly describe the scene you want. For example, if you need a wide shot of a desert, type that in and click Generate. Then copy the generated prompt, paste it into Whisk AI, wait a few seconds, and your image will be ready. You can use this same method to create any additional scene you need. Using this approach, I generated a few extra scenes to complete the story. Step number three. Now, in the third step, will work inside ChatGPT. Start by asking ChatGPT to write all the dialogues for the story. After that, click Generate, and ChatGPT will instantly create all the dialogues used throughout the story. Next, open Grok AI. Once it's open, upload one of the images you generated earlier using Whisk AI. After uploading the image, go back to ChatGPT, copy the matching dialogue for that specific scene, and paste it into the Grok AI prompt box. Before the dialogue starts, make sure to write the word script. This helps the AI clearly understand the exact words to use for the character voiceover. Now click Generate, wait a few seconds, and your video will be ready. Let's play it. Sunny, Sunny, come back. You'll notice the dialogues sound great. You may hear some background music or irrelevant sounds in the video, but don't worry, I have a solution for that, which I'll explain in the editing phase. Now, repeat the same process for all the remaining images. Convert each image into a video by placing the matching dialogue, starting with script, and then clicking generate. This step can take some time, so be patient and make sure you convert every image. If any voiceover doesn't sound right, simply regenerate it. By following this process, you'll end up with all the video clips needed to complete your animated story. Here, you can see some of the clips I generated using Grok AI. These examples show how the images were successfully turned into short video scenes with accurate character voiceovers. This is exactly the result you should aim for when converting your own images into video clips. Step number four. Now, open CapCut. Once it's open, start importing all the video clips you generated with Grok AI one by one. After importing, drag all the clips onto the timeline and arrange them in the correct story sequence. Make sure the scenes match properly and the story flows smoothly. Take your time here. This step is important to give the story clear meaning and a natural flow. Once all the clips are placed in the correct order and the story feels complete, select all the clips and create a compound clip. After that, extract the audio from the compound clip. When exporting, make sure you export only the audio and select the MP3 format. After exporting the MP3 file, open audio strip. The link to this tool is also available in the video description. This website helps us isolate vocals from background music and unwanted noise. Upload the MP3 file, select the Vocal Plus instrumental option, and then click Isolate. The process will take a few seconds. Once it's complete, download the Vocal Only file. Now, Return to CapCut and import the vocal file. Drag it onto the timeline and align it with your video clips. 
Now, import your background music and drag it onto the timeline. Adjust the volume and lower it enough so the voiceover remains clear and easy to hear. The music should support the story, not overpower it. Once the balance feels right, your audio mix will sound clean and professional. Next, go to the sound effects section in CapCut and start adding relevant sound effects. For example, for the opening scene, search for a desert sound and place it on the timeline. Then search for wind sound effects and add them to the matching clips. In the same way, continue searching for and adding appropriate sound effects to each scene. Adding these sound effects will make your story feel more realistic, smooth, and engaging, while helping the message land perfectly. Once all sound effects are placed, review the entire video carefully. If everything looks and sounds good, go ahead and export the final video in 4K quality. Buddy, I messed up, but we're not giving up, right? <laughs> Let's find Sunny and take him back home. You weren't really lost. Just waiting for us. And that's it. This is how you can create a complete 3D animated story using AI, from writing the story to generating visuals, turning them into videos, and polishing everything in editing. Feel free to experiment with your own ideas, improve the scenes, and make the story truly yours. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.